Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. I just want to address, I don't know if you guys noticed or not, the channel change, the name change. I recently changed it to Faces by Fortune because as you guys know, I've been talking to you guys in my last few videos, I've been doing a lot of clientele's makeup recently, and I kind of just wanted to brand myself in just one kind of like umbrella name. And my makeup side business is called Faces by Fortune, so I just wanted to rebrand the name. Let me know what you guys think about the name in the comments section down below. Do we hate it? Do we miss fortune finds? I'm kind of sad that I'm not gonna call you guys finders anymore because it doesn't make any sense because I'm not fortune finds. I was playing around with the, I was playing around with the idea of calling you guys facines, but I don't know, facines, I believe means face in Italian and my mom calls me a facine. And I don't know if she says it like because she loves me or if she says it because she's annoyed with me. So I don't really know. TBD on that one. As you can tell by the title of this video, today I'm gonna be doing a full face of makeup using all of my current favorite beauty products. I just started taking note of the things that I would just grab and apply to my face every time I would open my vanity. And I have to say, these are just the things that like sing my name. Before we go ahead and hop into today's video, I would love it if you would go ahead and click that subscribe button down below if you have not subscribed yet. And also be sure to click that little bell button notification next to it. I know there's a little bit of confusion around that button. You only need to click it once and by clicking that bell, it just notifies you every time I upload a video here on my channel. So if you have watched a previous video of mine and you've already clicked the bell, no need to click it again. I just want to make sure that you guys get notifications every time I upload a new video, minimum once a week. I was doing twice a week for a hot minute there. I do wanna get back to it, but I am kind of working a little bit more as of recently. So I haven't had too much time to sit down and record as many videos, but I am always here on Thursday. So without a doubt, whether you get a notification or not, I upload, I would say around seven or 8 p.m. So that being said, if you've gone ahead and you've subscribed and you've rung that bell, then let's go ahead and hop right into the video. Thayer's facial toner. It has witch hazel with aloe vera in it. This is unscented and alcohol free. And I just will apply this using a reusable cotton round that I bought on Amazon. Put a decent amount. Going to add a little bit more moisture into the skin. Then we will use our skincare products to lock the moisture in. So that's really what toner is meant for, guys. It's not to take off makeup. You ever notice like when you get out of the shower and you apply your skincare right away, how it like glides across your face really easily? That's because there's moisture in your skin. And then I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more and I'm just gonna focus it on the areas of my face that are extremely dry. While my face is still damp, I'm gonna go in with my serum. This is the Maraud Resurgence Rapid Collagen Infusion. With summer right around the corner, I've been really making tweaks in my beauty routine, my beauty regime. And I've been thinking about doing a video. I've been, I don't know if you guys can tell, I just feel like my face looks really tighter. It looks brighter. If you guys are interested in hearing what it is I'm doing in order to get ready for this summer, let me know down below in the comments. Um, I definitely would film that video for you guys because I've been doing enough. It's not too much. It doesn't take up too much time. It's not like a 17 step routine because ain't nobody got time for that. But I have been making tweaks here and there and I've been seeing such a big difference in my skin and I feel a hell of a lot more confident. So let me know. I have been really into exfoliating my lips. I got this during the Sephora VIV sale. I redeemed this. I think it was like 100 points and I just thought it was cute. It's just like this rubber exfoliator. I'm just gonna use this to go ahead and scrub my lips. I wouldn't say this is like the most amazing product, but I do find that I will use this more than I will use a sugar scrub just because I can't, I can't be bothered. Whatever you're actually gonna use, I feel like is always the best product, you know? Because if you buy a sugar scrub and you never use it, then like, what's the point of that? I'm gonna go ahead and use my Lano Lips 101 ointment. You can use it on anything. You can use it on dry skin, on scars. Still on this, the Maraud Hydration Perfecting Day Cream with SPF 30. And I'm gonna use more than this, but I like to add it in little amounts at a time because I have sensitive skin. And again, I can't have too many layers, otherwise it will melt off my face. I sweat from my head all the time, but I find that doing it in thin layers rather than putting on a glob all at once works better with my skin. Let's go ahead and cover up these dark circles. This is the Becca Under Eye Corrector. Guys, get this while you can. Becca is going out of business, I think in September. I'm just gonna take a little bit. Like I took the ittiest bittiest bit because if you put too much product underneath your eyes, it will look textured. And I am gonna put it up top 
over my eye as well because I am dark. I'm dark in this entire, the entire eye region. If you can get away without using an eye cream with this product, it definitely lays down better because again, if you put too many layers underneath your eye, one, if you have textured eyes, if you have wrinkly eyes, it's really gonna show, but also you run the risk of your concealer moving. These two foundations is what I have been applying on my face. The most recently, if you watch my Project Pan, this Hourglass Vanish stick was in it. I'm trying to work through it. I really don't like this foundation by itself, nor do I really like this foundation by itself, but this is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. This alone, like this just moves into my lines. It just makes my skin look 10 years older than it already is. Hourglass It Cosmetics number seven perfecting brush. And I'm just gonna stamp this into the skin. You can really sheer it out and make it look natural, or you can build it up and make it look a little bit more full coverage. As you can see, it has a nice light coverage. I also don't know if you can see though, it kind of adheres to the little pores in my skin, little holes. It also adheres to dry patches, which is why I do like to go ahead and go in with a little bit of this. I'm gonna take that with a beauty sponge, mainly focusing this on the center of my face. And I kind of use this as almost like a moisturizer, kind of think of it like that, just to add a little bit more coverage in the areas where I need it. But those same areas that need a little bit of coverage also are dry. And I don't know if you can see, but it kind of looks a little bit more luminous. It's not pulling onto my dry patches as much anymore. All right, I feel like I cannot have a favorites video without mentioning this product. Product, Ardell Glam Touring Contour Stick. I don't use the highlighting side. I'm sure you guys are so sick of hearing about this, but I'm just gonna go ahead and contour my face just a little bit. Okay, and to blend this out, I'm just gonna take that foundation brush that I use with the Vanish Stick, and I'm just gonna kind of buff this into my skin. You can definitely layer this product up. If you want to sheer it out, it's really easy to sheer out and give yourself a more natural kind of contour, but if you wanted to go a little bit bolder, you can. This kind of shade is good for contouring as well as bronzing. It's kind of like in the middle, at least for me and my skin tone. You know, it's not too warm, but it's not super cool toned. I'm gonna take the concealer brush on the other side just to go ahead and run this down my nose. Okay, I would like a little bit more bronze and I feel like I really have to mention this product because it's definitely one of my favorites and I use this a lot. There's a decent dent in this, but this is the Yensa Sunlit Glow Silk Bronzing Base. So I just literally go in here and I just tap this and I'm just gonna use this to warm up my face. So I'm not being like too meticulous about where I place this. And I just find like, this is perfect. If you guys watched my last video, I put a little bit too much blush on and this just does such a good job of like taming things and just making my complexion look a little bit more natural. See, it just, it's so good. I love this stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and try this one today. This is not a favorite because I've never used it on my face. So excuse me, but I'm just curious. And I figured you guys would be curious too. Tower 28, this is their Beach Please Blush in the shade After Hours. I'm just gonna tap this onto my cheeks. This is a really pretty shade. It looks really dark in the pan, but then it applies really sheer and you can build it up. I know this because I applied the same formula, but in a different shade. You do need to take the time to blend them out because they will go on a little bit patchy if you don't take the time to do so. So I like to really warm it into my cheeks with my finger. This Gucci. Pencil. I'm a little mad because it's expensive. I think it's like 30 something dollars, but it's so good. Like so good. I have never owned a pencil that applies like an eyeshadow, like a, a powder product to my brows. It's so nice. And it's kind of like goof proof. If you make a mistake, you just go like that and it comes right off. And you don't even need to apply a lot of pressure with this product. It just like glides across the skin. I'm in the mood to like experiment with my brows a little bit. I kind of want them to be a little bit softer. And I feel like this pencil makes it really easy to just fill them in really softly. Brow Duo Brow Pencil. I love the concealer side. And I'm just gonna use this to just shape up the brows. If you're someone that has distant cousin brows, they're not very similar in shape. I really suggest getting a product like this because you can really go ahead, clean up your brows after filling them in. And to blend that out, I have the Billion Dollar Brows smudge brush. I'm pretty sure it comes with the brow kit and it just blends out like one, two, three. And it just helps to clean up the brows and make them look a little bit more crisper. And again, you could just reshape them if you shape them poorly. I have two palettes here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use them both, but I wanted to mention them both because I have just been very, very into them and they're both beautiful Barack Pro palettes. 
This is, I believe, the original Lorac Pro eyeshadow palette, and then this is the Lorac eyeshadow palette 3. The original is definitely a little bit on the warmer toned side, whereas the 3 is a little bit softer and on the cooler toned side. I think I use the Lorac Pro number 1 a little bit more than this one, but this is really great for like every day. So if you're going to work, you just want a little hint of natural shadow in your crease across the lid. Maybe I'll use both, but I think I'm going to start off with this one, and I'm just going to go in with the shade shade taupe. This is my crease shade. I'm shocked that I have not hit pan in this yet. I'm not going to prime my lids. I don't know. I haven't really been in the mood to prime my lids with an eyeshadow primer. And I'm just taking that on a Sephora 19 brush. Create a V in the crease. We're just gonna build up the crease. I think I want like a heavy crease today and a really light shade across the lid. I think that's the vibe. And when I say heavy crease, that doesn't mean that we're not gonna take our time to blend. We're definitely gonna blend. And I'm using the tip of this to just create that V shade, the V shape, I should say. And then of course, blending back and forth. We always want to blend. So sweeping motions, and then I like to go in with circular motions just to really blend it out and make it a little bit softer. Focus more of that shadow on the outer third. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit more on the point of that brush and just wiggle that right here. I'm just using the same shade, the same taupe shade. And can you see that it's a little bit darker on this outer third than it is towards the inner corner? That's just because I'm now really concentrating it on the outer third. So it's gonna look like I'm wearing two different colors but I'm only using one, you know? Adding an extra layer here and maybe not blending it out as much as I did in the inner corner. But can you see, it kind of just elongates the eyes and gives that like cat eye look. I'm kind of just creating a smaller V with this layer of the same shade. With whatever is left on the brush, I'm gonna go ahead and just bring it on into the inner corner just to help it blend a little bit more, but still keeping that dimension. My eyes are a little uneven. This eye is bigger than this eye. I like to play with them a little bit, make them a little bit more symmetrical using my makeup. So I'm gonna take a little bit more of that taupe. I'm gonna look in the mirror and I'm just gonna place a little bit more shadow right here on this eye just to make it a little bit more symmetrical. Now that I've pointed out that my eyes are two different shapes, that's all you're gonna see in all of my videos. The more symmetrical we are, I feel like the more comfortable we feel in our makeup. So if you would like to see a symmetry-based video, all of my tips and tricks on how I make my own face symmetrical, therefore, you know, how you can make your face more symmetrical, let me know down below in the comments. Pewter, it's a dark brown with a little bit of sparkle, a little pencil brush like this. This is a Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH38 in this outer third. See what I'm doing? I'm just pushing that shade just to create a little bit more dimension in the eye. I love brushes like this. I think they're game changing. If you're someone that struggles to get his or her makeup to look the way that you want it, like really invest in some smaller brushes. I feel like fluffy brushes are all the rage. It's like when you do your makeup and you sit down, like people say you need like five fluffy brushes. Don't underestimate how game changing and life changing smaller brushes can be. Overall, if you just look at your face, like your eyes take up like the least amount of space. This section of my face is so much larger. So it's important to invest in small brushes. You don't need to spend a lot. When I say invest, I don't mean you need to go and buy like Gucci brushes. I did a brush video, I wanna say about a year ago and I have a ton of small brushes in that one. So I will link the video up here as well as down below. Check that out. I go over a lot of detailing brushes. Now I'm going to take this nude shade, which I've almost hit pan on and it's so creamy. Like this is such a creamy palette. These eyeshadows are literally like butter. Tap off the excess and this does have a little bit of sparkle in it. So it's going to help pick up the light and just make your eyes look a little bit bigger and I'm just gonna pat it into the lid and I'm also gonna put it in the inner corner, like right there. I know a lot of people do the V like on the inner corner, but I find like this placement here looks more natural. I love this eyeliner guys, but I have to say like it could be so much better at the same time. It's really easy to draw on. Like this tip is just so good. I normally don't like felt tip liners, but this one is so easy to control. The only thing is, is that this kind of dries out quickly and I do store it upside down. I think if you have liquid liners, you should always store them with the cap facing down. And I always draw my wing on with my eyes open because I can see how that wing is going to look with 
my eyes open and I think that's important. It goes on really quickly and I'm gonna bring it to the center of my eye. I don't wanna bring this wing in all the way. And I really like this brush for me because I have folds in my eyes and this just gives like the right amount of firmness where it doesn't get caught on my folds. It just does a really nice job. And again, I stopped the liner right in the center of my eye. So it's gonna keep the eyes a little bit open instead of closing them off. But it's also gonna make them look a little sexual because we have a cat eye on. I recently bought these Q-tips that are pointier. And let me tell you something, they are freaking game changing. I'm gonna take a little bit of my serum and I'm gonna roll it onto the tip so that there's barely any product there. And I'm gonna use the point to just clean up my wing. Do you see what I did? It took two freaking seconds and it makes the wing really, really sharp. Now I'm gonna take the clean side that has nothing and I'm just gonna use that to take away any of the excess serum. I don't know if I love this yet. I am testing this. I know this is a favorites video, but I hate all of my concealer and this is the newest concealer. So by default, this one is my favorite at the moment. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Light Capturing Self Setting Concealer and I bought the shade 25. Put this here, a little bit around my nose, put a little bit between my brows. I have not used this concealer with a sponge and I feel like it might apply better with the sponge. Yup, that looks so much better with the sponge. That's exciting because I liked it with the brush, but I didn't like like love it. I've just been using brushes a lot more lately. I feel like it's because I've been doing a lot more clients makeup and I just like using brushes better on other people. And I forget, like I have dry under eyes and sometimes like a sponge can really make all the difference. I'm gonna use this powder, which has been an, a rocky relationship, the two of us, but I do really like it now. That's where I'm at with it today. This is a Ciate London Watermelon Burst Setting Powder. Do not use a sponge with this because it's gonna create that like white cast underneath your eyes. Pick it up with a brush and I'm gonna pat. Pencil brush that I used that pewter shade on and I'm just gonna hop into taupe, pack that like right here on the outer third of the lower lash line, just like that and see how that brought a little bit of drama, but I also wanna soften that. So I'm gonna take the blending brush that I was using in my crease. I wanna pick up the shade Mauve, like just a touch of that. Cause it's a little bit lighter than the Taupe shade, but I didn't put Mauve anywhere else. So I just picked up a little pinch of it and I'm gonna use that to just blend out the lower lash line. So I'm gonna start in the outer third and then bring that on in. And can you see just how that helps to blend it out and soften it a little bit? But you can't really see that mauve shade. We're just using it as like a blending medium. Lovecraft Beauty. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of Cymbeline on this big brush by Complex. And I'm just gonna keep this back here just to like brontour again. And this is also gonna help to set the face a little bit. It's such a good color for me. It's so pretty. Helps everything blend together. And I like to put it down my neck too. My face is a little bit darker than my neck naturally. And I don't know if you can see, but that just gives like a really subtle bronze to the face. And I love it. This powder is so good. I'm gonna set my brow today with a lighter shade than I filled them in with. I find like this gives a really nice dimension. And I love this product. I talk about it all the time. This is the Essence Make Me Brow. This is just our eyebrow gel mascara. And this is in the shade shade Soft Brownie Brows. It was gonna add a little bit of dimension and it's also gonna add a little bit of pigmentation, but it's kind of gonna soften this brow. Like, can you see that this brow is a little bit softer than this one? Again, because this is a lighter shade. Unique Mood Struck Epic Mascara. It kind of just elongates my lashes, makes them look really wispy and just like, Oh, so good. I love this mascara. Lower lash line as well. Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in the shade Wherever Walnut. Line my lips and fill them in with this. I haven't really been wearing lipstick aside from like chapstick, to be totally completely honest, because I'm not really going anywhere. I need to give this like an honorary mention because I've been doing so many people's makeup the past month and this has been the number one worn liquid lipstick in my kit. MAC Retro Matte Lip Color in the shade Lady Be Good. So I'm gonna apply this on the back of my hand. Apply this using a brush. Oh yes. This is like really liquidy and comfortable. 
That is like the perfect nude color for me. Okay, to set the face, I feel like this goes without saying, my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. If you still have that little cotton round near you that we used with our Thayer's toner, take that and if you're wearing earrings, you can use the toner to just clean up your earrings. Can you see how dirty this one is compared to this one that we just cleaned? I don't know if you can see the difference on camera, but this guy has all foundation on him and I cannot tell you like how much that drives me nuts. I know that I did not use any highlighter. I just feel like this skincare routine that I have been using, just look, I look really shiny. Like my skin just naturally looks really shiny, really dewy. I have like a natural highlight going on. I have not been reaching for highlighter lately. And I think it's just like an overrated product. If you just don't powder like this section of your face, guys, you really don't need it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I had a wonderful time as always, and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.